Hey YouTube, it's Steph. I'm back. So I wanted to uh, talk about my luck goals. So, um, oh, I had to make sure I was still recording. Okay, so I want to, I haven't really even talked about that. You know, what are my long-term goals for my locks? Okay, so number one, of course, I want healthy, big, thriving, reform looking locks, right? So that's number one. But I've already had I already have that. So I want long, um, thick, healthy, freeform looking locks. And it's gonna come with time. And I mean, you know, I'm getting the growth. I'm showing my length. Um it looks that I was able to maintain let's see, four inches at the beginning of the year um maybe five so i'm thinking that i probably will reasonably be able to accumulate and uh, maintain six inches of growth per year so uh in the end my end goal really is to have waist length locks or very close to waist length if i could actually just get past bra strap length in between bra strap and waist length that middle you know like smaller back area that's really my perfect length i think that's that'll be my goal um i was able to reach bra strap bra strap length like the middle of my back a little lower than the very middle of my back when I had loose natural hair. I was only able to um, do that and achieve that one time. <laughs> it took about five years and I never wore my hair out. Um, but the thing is to get that length, to accumulate that kind of length, what I did was, is I mimicked a lock style and I basically kept my hair in flats or twists the whole entire time like at least maybe not the whole five years but at least the last two and a half to three years of that five years i was over my hair okay i didn't care about seeing it i kept in plaits twists underneath the wig whatever and when i finally did take my hair out because i didn't use heat like i never wore it out never <laughs> i had hair that long and i was like whoa so the key for me was to not have to manipulate my hair at all, to be able to wash it, condition it, whatever I would do with it in braids or twists. And that's what I did. And of course, you know, I was feeling myself with my hair, my long hair and everything, um, blow dried out, straightened it maybe three times within a year period and my hair broke all off i mean it started slowly dying <laughs> the hair became very dry um i did something real stupid i did a uh bacon soda and something conditioner that mess ate my strands apart so it just was breaking off and eventually i got it cut um to about here and of course i went to someone who thought they knew better than me and they wanted to use heat so i went back a month later and my hair had broken off to about here so i got it cut to there and then that's where i started from again trying to grow my hair out but now with locks i know that i can achieve that like i'm not gonna do any crazy stuff to my hair to eat my strands apart and i'm going to be able to accumulate at least about six inches every year so right now i'm probably about here at the top of my shoulders by christmas i'm thinking i'm gonna be somewhere around here and then it's just gonna go from there six a year after that here a year after that six inches longer so as long as i you know don't do anything stupid to my hair i should reasonably be between the bra strap length and waist length within, I say three and a half, maybe four years um, from now. 
So uh, that is the ultimate goal. I'm going to insert a few pictures of ladies that have inspired me and kind of how I want my locks to look. And yeah, if you guys, um, you know, tell me if you have goals. I know you have goals for your locks. Tell me in the description, I mean, uh, in your comments, tell me what your goal is for your locks. If it's just to have healthy, thick locks, if it's, you know, if you have sister locks, brother locks, you have Congos, you know, whatever your goals are, let me know and uh, we can just have a little conversation about it, okay? So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, hit like, share it, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Bye.